endangered wildlife, such as elephants, orangutans, rhinos and tigers. But how do indigenous peoples experience and conceptualize the transformations wrought by oil palm in the places where this plant is introduced and cultivated? How do these transformations reconfigure the relations of indigenous communities to each other and to other species? And more broadly, how do indigenous practices philosophies and protocols of more than human relationality illuminate our understanding of more than human living and dying in this age of planetary unraveling. <laughs> In the shadow of the palms is a story of more than human beings, becomings and belongings on the West Papuan oil palm frontier, where agribusiness expansion is radically reconfiguring the intimate and ancestral relations of indigenous marined peoples to their plant and animal forest kin. Embedded within this story are many other intertwined stories. Stories about interspecies care and violence, Stories about hope and resistance, skin and wetness, palms and people, and human and animal shapeshifters. These are stories about country, kinship, and colonization. In the shadow of the palms is also a story about mourning, refusal, and wonder. It seeks to speak to the possibilities of life and the kinds of work that anthropologists can do to illuminate these possibilities. The book also centers the power of storytelling as a praxis of sovereignty and self-determination among indigenous peoples whose own stories have historically been silenced, stolen and sanitized under colonial capitalist regimes. More than anything, In the Shadow of the Palms is a story of indigenous creativity, continuance and critique. One that is grounded in theories produced by peoples who persist in the face of imposed invisibility and who have something vital to say about what it means to live under entrenched and emergent regimes of race and capital. <laughs> 